passionate, assassinate, but murder and I'm laughing at the rain on section casting it. Your belt, you better fasten it. Illness without a vital, author with great recital. They so we back. We in the new studio on some movie shit, on some Hollywood Warner Brothers type shit. You know what I'm saying? We done upgraded. Everything gonna be upgraded. And basically, I'm just gonna give y'all all the rundown of what to expect for season two. Number of legitimate shit and legitimate motherfuckers that I fuck with that's, that's about their craft. You dig what I'm saying? With season one, everybody's seen it. You know what I'm saying? We traveled five different cities. Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Austin... And uh, New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? From everybody, from ASAP Rocky to 50 Cent, you've seen footage of. We're going the distance. Over uh, 5,700 copies passed out for free, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to step it up. We're going to try to push toward 10,000 this season. And uh, let y'all take this journey with us. So for season two, for the first couple episodes, uh, I'm going to get back to Tulsa because that's where I'm from. I love it. Northside, what up? 918, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody from the thug. Four or five original killer city. I fuck with y'all. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing self help episodes. You know what I'm saying? If you a new up and coming artist or you new to the city, I'm gonna give y'all a slew of artists that y'all can fuck with and learn who they are. DJs, videographers, producers, promoters. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna come up. This is my gift to y'all. I'm paying for all this myself. All this equipment I pay for, it, and we gonna bless the game one time. On another note, what else can you expect outside from the self help episodes? Uh, man, we, we traveling more, we hitting South by Southwest up again, uh, Memphis in May, we going the distance, going to different cities, you know what I'm saying, we gonna get them shows cracking back, we gonna link up with motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, expect plenty more guest stars, cause I'm telling you right now, I already got about 12 of them for your ass, you know what I'm saying, so, just be on the lookout, it's, it's about to go down. The last couple little treats, you know what I'm saying, so we can start off the year right with episode one on a whole nother level above and beyond. I'm proud to introduce Fully HD, my next project, you know what I'm saying, it's really a, a re-release project, my first project that I did, I passed out over 800 copies, you know what I'm saying, but it was on burnt disc, the quality wasn't too good, it was a lot of issues, so, to show motherfuckers what level I was on in, in my, you know what I'm saying, kick dough when I first came in the game, I went and remixed it, remastered it, and I got bonus songs on there for y'all, for free, it'll be available June 14th on my C-Day, you know what I'm saying, two weeks after this motherfucker dropped right here. And uh, the last little treat I got for y'all, some exclusive footage of DJ Infamous. For all y'all who don't know who DJ Infamous is, he's the uh, the DJ that got Future on with the itching. That was his shit, you know what I'm saying. And uh, his latest single he got is with Big Crit and Yo Got It. something right, it's a banger, you know what I'm saying. So check that out. And check the footage I got for y'all. It's also some help, self-help stuff for the town. So motherfuckers that's coming up can learn what they need to do to get on their shit. This is Work Before Pleasure Season 2. Campaign, vlog, series, you know what I'm saying? The documentary. And uh, I just wanted to bring it in bring it in right. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all next time. I ain't, I'm from a small city just like y'all. I'm from Lansing, Michigan. Where no rappers go to to do concerts. No big DJs come through there, no tours come through there. You know when the big tours come, they don't come through there. You know what I'm saying? But I said, fuck it, I'm gonna get it hot. I got hot, moved to another small market, Huntsville, Alabama, went to school, did that. Beat that up till I couldn't beat it up no more. But then it's like everywhere I went, I was, I became hot. Then when, so when I got to Atlanta, the formula, it was, it was the same formula I did in the other markets, it's just, it was a bigger plateau. I knew when I got in the radio, I knew who to get to. Okay, the big nigga's Greg Street. Okay, I'm gonna be up under him until he's like, yo, okay, this kid's annoying, but shit. He talented, he hungry, and he ready 24 7. Every time. Next thing you know, I DJ for him. Next thing you know, I'm on this show. Next thing you know, I got my own show. Next thing you know, I'm in the hottest clubs. This, and it just keep going. It's the same for you, it's like a practice. So, what you do is you practice with your local DJ. Then you practice with the next DJ that's bigger than him. Then if you can get to the next DJ bigger than him, then you practice with him. So then when you go into all these other markets, telling motherfuckers you the hottest shit from here, then all the DJs are going to do is be like, yeah, he is. He ain't lying. He's coming your way. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be hungry for your career and be annoying, but not disrespectful because the disrespect part or can, can turn a DJ off. I'm on a label. I'm on um, E1. You know, drama, DJ drama, and, uh, 
Ashanti, Cash Out, there's a couple of us over there, right? I put, had a record called Double Cut. Label did that, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to put out the remix, but the label was like, they wanted to clear it, but I'm like, you know, it's gonna take too long to clear the whole record. So what I did was, I took my own money, shot a Double Cut remix, put that video out. That did 5.2 million views. Label was bullshit on this other record. I said, fuck it. Put it out with my own money again. It's a record I got with Yo Gotti and uh, Big Crick or something, right? Said, fuck it. Put that shit on my own. Use my own money for marketing. Did my own shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you gotta be a machine with it. Like nowadays, you gotta be a machine so that when a big DJ see it, it all they gotta do is push a button and everything else just follow. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. You gotta put all your all into this shit. Like everybody that's popping that you see, that did exactly what I'm saying. And a lot of cats didn't have to see no big DJ. A lot of times the big DJ had to go see them. Dash.